Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. Could you do with a bit of encouragement this morning? Is it a bit uh, wet and windy and nasty out there? We could always do with a bit of encouragement now and then, can't we, to enjoy our lives and be happy? Well, here's something for us. This is, we're jumping around a lot in the Bible lately, aren't we? This is back in the Old Testament in Ecclesiastes, a book that's not read very often, but some great pearls of wisdom in it. Here's something which tells us and gives us permission to enjoy life. It says this, it's Ecclesiastes 8.15. I commend the enjoyment of life. It's a good start, isn't it? I commend the enjoyment of life because nothing is better for a man under the sun than to eat and drink and be glad. Then joy will accompany him in his work or the days of his life God has given him under the sun. I encourage you, God is saying, I encourage you to eat and drink and be happy. Be joyful. Joy will accompany you, be with you in all that you do for all the days that I have given you. That's how he wants us to be. He doesn't want us to be miserable sinners. He doesn't want us to be miserable Christians. He doesn't want us to be miserable saved people. He wants us to be joyful and happy and to show that joy to others around us. Let's allow our enjoyment of God to spill out into every facet of our lives and everybody that we know and meet. That's what we should be doing. How often do people come to church and meet miserable, unhappy people? How often do they come to church and meet dour looking people? It, unfortunately, it happens all too often. They come to church and meet people who are trying their best to be good, and that often leads to piousness. It leads to a, a, a development of an act or a character which can be supercilious and even superficial. We should be roaring with laughter and enjoying our lives because of our relationship with God our Father and Jesus our Saviour. That's what we should be doing. That's how we should be expressing this joy that we have in knowing Christ. We should be full of joy and happiness. We don't always feel like that, but our faith is not, not dependent on our feelings. It's dependent upon the fact of Jesus Christ. It's depending upon who he is and what he has done for us, as recorded in Scripture, which is irrefutable, uncontestable, or is it incontestable? Anyway, it's true and right and upstanding, and we know it in our hearts. So we should allow our lives to show it to others, that we are happy and resplendent because of our relationship with Jesus. Do you give that impression to others through your daily life? Do you show others that you are glad and joyful? Well, if not, then today might be a day you can say to yourself, from now on, I am going to be joyful and glad in all that I say and do. I'm going to be happy in lockdown. I'm going to be full of the joy of the Lord to everybody that I might talk to, write to, Zoom with, email, whatever it might be, and share some of the love of God with other people. Doing that would be being his people, living in his world, being disciples of Christ. That's a good job, isn't it? Take care. See you soon.